article number one. Let's jump into the next one. Where many of you, where many of you are already at or want to or considering this path. I get a lot of questions on this channel about, hey, Antoine, which should I go? Cybersecurity or, of course, or cloud? Which one's the hottest? Well, they're both are hot. You have to do the research into what roles exist into these IT sectors, research it, and determine if you are a good fit for that so sort of a role. It could be cloud, it could be cybersecurity, it could be a combination of both. And that's when you really get into the money then. If you do a combination of both, you'll really get into the money. But there are almost 600,000 cybersecurity jobs open right now. Insiders explain how complete beginners can enter the industry. Guys, guys, you want to enter the clouds, the, the cybersecurity industry, this is the article for you. Outside of talking to, you know, and I, I encourage you, I encourage you to talk to the experts, talk to the PBOs, talk to the gay bays, talk to the brother Jose. These guys have been into this area for a very long time, so they're going to tell you the things that you're really going to need in order for you to get into these areas. Just like the show that we had with Brother AI and me, Engineering Cannabis, on how to get into machine learning and artificial intelligence, he gave us the game. If you go talk to the Gabes, the Professor of Black Ops, the Brother Jose's, they're going to give you the game of the quickest way that you can get into cybersecurity. Another one, gentleman is Textual Chatter. He was on this platform as well, too. Great individual. Go check out this channel as well, too. Does a fantastic job. Master IT as well, too. Check those resources out, and they can help you get into IT following the path that they took. All it does is take for you to reach out to these guys on LinkedIn. Right? And when you reach out, don't just say Antoine says reach out or Black Heights says reach out. Introduce yourself and say, hey, I understand that you're in the IT world or the cybersecurity world. I want to know, you know, what was the path that you took? Do a proper introduction. I think I'm going to do a video. I told Brother Billy Rowe that we should do a video on the appropriate way to ask for help. Because many people are starting to name drop our names when they introduce themselves to other people. Hey, Antoine says, I should reach out to you for this. No, do an appropriate introduction, guys. Don't say Antoine said it. Do an appropriate introduction. Hey, my name is such and such. I was watching the Black Hacks channel, AKA Antoine Wade. He said that you would be a good resource for this. Do you have time? That's it. That's the appropriate way to address or to ask somebody for something. Don't just name drop them and name drop me and say, I said, go to that person because I've gotten many emails from other individuals saying that Antoine says this and this. And guys, I'm going to tell you like this. If I'm going to recommend somebody to you, that I've spoken with, like physically or personally, I'm going to do a proper introduction myself, okay? All right, let's jump into this. Let's jump into this. The Cyber's Kitty world, Cyber's Kitty world's getting all the, all the money, man. These guys are making a whole bunch of money. With cybersecurity comes job security. That's what they say, guys. <laughs> and you're in the Cyber's Kitty space, Man, you got all kinds of job security. According to Cybersecurity Ventures, there will be an estimated of 3.5 million unfulfilled cybersecurity jobs by 2025. Guys, I'm telling you, if these if this data is as accurate as they say, everybody should just go into cybersecurity. I'm telling you, all of us should just go into cybersecurity. Like seriously, if this data is as accurate as they say. A lot of people should just really just say, you know what, I'm going into cybersecurity. It's job security, guys. It's job security. But according to Cybersecurity Ventures, there have been estimated 3.5 million unfulfilled cybersecurity jobs by 2025. A, se a separate estimate found that there were about 597,000 cybersecurity roles in the U.S. right now. Many of these pay at least six figures, and this data is coming from the Columbia University. But contrary to popular belief, cyber jobs cover far more than the clandestine matters of national security portrayed, 
portrayed in a TV and film. In reality, there are at least seven categories, 33 specialty areas, and 52 different roles within the cybersecurity industry. Wow, that is a lot. And I think a lot of us, when we think about cybersecurity, we lump it all into one. That's why research is important, guys. If you are thinking about cybersecurity, do your research. I'm providing this level of exposure so you, you can get the, the wheels moving and know that there's other people who are in this area getting it that you can potentially reach out to. And the resources on this platform will allow for you to do a proper introduction to somebody if you want their resources or you want some help by using things like LinkedIn. But you have to do the research if you're interested into things like cybersecurity. Don't think that we're just going to give you all that information into this channel. There is 33 specialty areas, 52 different roles within cybersecurity. That's a lot, guys. And positions includes data analysts, security architect, vulnerability assessment analysts. And many of you are doing this for a company today. And all it takes is for you to work for a company that has security, that does security, right? A McAfee, you'd be considered in cybersecurity. Or you can just work for your current company into a different department, into InfoSec and so forth. Or you can work for the Accenture's, the Deloitte's, into the cybersecurity organizations. There's multiple ways that you can get into the cybersecurity and there's multiple roles that you can get into cybersecurity. Don't expect, don't expect even for the people who are in cybersecurity to know every single role that you can get into. That's for you to do your own research on by going to places like Initiative for Cybersecurity Education, which you can find in the article. And I'll have this article into the, um, the description of this uh, video after it's done and so forth. But guys, there are positions that include data analysts, security architect, vulnerability assessment analysts. And this industry overall requires a lot of new learning, constant learning. An anti-malware software company, Malware Bytes, right? So being self-taught, being able to learn very quickly and take what you learn and either create a product or utilize a product in some way is important. It's important. A lot of this stuff, guys, again, in IT, you know, it's high paying. It's a great, you can have a great lifestyle. You can have a great life. You can make tons of money and so forth. But it really comes down to you. Do you want to change? Is what you're going through right now, if you're not making the money that you want to make, do you really want to change? It comes down to you. It comes down to you. Invest in yourself. Do the research. Book a coaching session. Join the Patreon. Join the resource that I talked about earlier of City. Talk to people. Look at people that are doing really good things. Look at people who are doing really good things. Simon, who was on from Crypto technology or crypt technology, PBO, before the beans. Talk to people. Just have a conversation. Take them out to lunch. Learn what they do. But also, I think the most important thing is this. Is you got to find somebody that you want to be like. Who is it that you admire? And that's going to help you determine potentially a career for yourself. Who is it that you admire? And hopefully it isn't some sort of entertainer or a rapper because you're already past that stage. And it doesn't have to be anybody who's in tech. But who is it that you admire? And if it is somebody in tech, what lifestyle do they have? How did they get there? And try to emulate that, guys. That's how you get there. But it has to start with you wanting to change getting rid of all the 
extra garbage that may be in your life that's causing these distractions and for you to focus. And if you do a boot camp, you figure it out and you complete it. If you do a certification, you get your certifications and you focus. If you're in training, you listen to your coach. If you're getting mentored, you listen to your mentor, you complete your assignments and execute. That's all with you. It's all with you. But inside I spoke with um, Kawaja and two other cybersecurity recruiting experts to learn which traits they look for in candidates and what resources were available to people with little to no prior experience who wanted to launch a career in cybersecurity. Here it is, guys. Unconventional backgrounds are valuable. Today, the cybersecurity industry is predominantly male and white. Let me repeat that. Today, the cybersecurity industry is predominantly male and white. But Renana, Felix, PayPal Senior Director of Security Operations, is one of the leaders in this space looking to change that. I think one of the biggest things that scares people about cybersecurity is I'm not technical enough or I don't have coding skills. But she added she has people on her team who came from customer service programs, academia, in other fields. She recommended that people with any level of or type of work experience use free online programs such as Hack the Box and Try Hack Me to launch their careers. Again, here's a resource for you guys. If you want to get into cybersecurity, if you want to get into cybersecurity, look at resources such as Hack the Box and Try Hack Me. I had a gentleman his name is Brandon, a coaching client. He's an expert. He's one of the best in the Try Hack Me. His team was like nationally ranked or something like that. And he has it on his LinkedIn profile. And he used that to get into cybersecurity. And he used my coaching to determine if the route that he was taking was going to be the best route. Additionally, Twitter has an information security community that experts recommended to job seekers. Twitter, Twitter is popping, guys. I'm just starting to get into the Twitter game on a tech space. And I'm telling you like that, it's big. It's big. I prefer the platform of YouTube based on what I do. But Twitter is popping. I love it. On social media, job seekers could build connections and read about major updates in cybersecurity space, said Kajawa. And Janet Van, the chief people officer at Cloudfair, a website security company. Look at YouTube videos, go to blogs, go to various websites and news sites and learn about threats, learn how they work, learn the basics about them. And this is some of the same stuff that PBO teaches on this uh, on his channel. Brother Gabe teaches on his channel. Malware Bikes and Cloudfair both have blogs that can help people and teach people and job seekers about the industry. And the Malware Bikes blog even accepts submissions for those looking to join Cloudflare specifically. And Van recommended that job seekers who use Cloudflare's products in their personal websites or past projects show that off in the interview. So if you're going to be applying for these cybersecurity companies, these security companies, Cloudflare, right? Malware Bytes. If you're going to be applying, Show how you use their technology. I use Marrow Bytes. I use run security security scans on my uh, desktop with it, and been using it for years. I don't use Cloudflare, but if you're going to be applying for a company like that, at least show what the tools are used for. Kajawa advised eager newcomers to be hyper vigilant about which companies they apply to. He said, "Sketchy or scammer companies exist in this space and could damage someone's resume." He encouraged job seekers to consider companies' online presence and the purpose of the company's work. Be mindful who you try to work for, he said. Don't just jump on any opportunity that comes your way. Finding your niche is important. The cybersecurity industry is highly competitive. Cloudflare, for instance, received 50,000 applicants a quarter for the last eight quarters, and it hired only 0.5% of them. Experts agreed that narrowing your focus in the industry was the key to breaking into it. Guys, Brother John, John is Stevens, Mr. Mr. John Stevens, Brandy's husband. He's taking cloud or cybersecurity 
a boot camp right now. And it's specifically focused on the cybersecurity around payments. And he's becoming an expert in that. And that's his niche. And he's taking the Boyd, uh, what's Boyd like to say? Um, Boyd Clueless certification course. Where Boyd is an expert in this and one of the best in the world. Consider that. It's another option for you guys. The cybersecurity industry is highly competitive. 50,000 applicants, only 5.5% of them were hired. That's very little, guys. So narrow your focus. Pick an area that you want to focus on and use that to break in. Kajawa said there are two main options that job seekers had to choose between joining cybersecurity. The first option is defensive and is about working to address cybercrime. The second option is offensive and it entails finding a way to prevent cybercrime. So guys, it's like football, offensive defense. What side are you going to be on? What side do you want to work on? You know how you like you play football or you play basketball? Well, you play football. You typically are on one side of the field. Where are your talents? Are you a wide receiver? Are you a defensive back? That's how you can narrow down the side as well, too. The first option is defensive. It's about working to address cybercrime. The second option is offensive, and it entails finding a way to prevent cybercrime. I think that kind of understanding where you want to go on that route is really important, in my opinion. He said, because you may, you might lead yourself down one path and find, you know what? I wish I went the other way. And guess what, guys? That's fine to switch. Just pick a path. Pick a path. You're going to get exposure. And don't think a path is wrong. And when, if, you, if you take a path and it's not the path for you, that you can't course correct. But one thing you need to do is finish. To figure out. Where they can fit in an industry, Freelance recommended that job seekers focus on their skill set. Skills such as problem solving, coding, and attention to detail can help with different job functions. Then lean hard into that niche. You don't need to know it all, Freelix said. I think that's one of the biggest barriers people put upon themselves when they consider a career in cyber. You don't need to know it all, guys. Take a boot camp. Get certifications. Learn. Do home labs. Talk to people. Understand what side you want to be in before you do any of this stuff. Research the road that you potentially want to go into, what fits you, and then commit. And at the end of the day, guys, it's not going to be a wrong commitment. It's tech. It's cybersecurity. You may do it for a year and may find out that you don't like it, but you can then transition to doing something else that you do like. At least you have a job and you're making a good amount of money and you can make that transition.